Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be working on I can make addition and subtraction facts using the same three numbers. If you do not have your materials, please pause and go get them now. First and foremost, like we always do, we start with place value chart. Your first number today is 26. What happens if you take away 20 from 26? What happens? Pause, work with your learning coach. Your next number is 40. What happens if you add 40? You're going to add 40, or sorry, you are, I'm just kidding. You're, you could add 40 if you want to try that one and you really want to challenge yourself. So 40, what happens if you add 10 to 40? So you have two different problems there now. Pause, work with your learning coach. We're getting into challenge. You're going to add with our hundreds, tens, and ones. You're going to figure out the problem. Figure out the sum. Pause, work with your learning coach. Next, you're looking for the difference. What is the difference of the top number versus the body number? Can't tell you what it is, it's a secret. See if you can figure it out. <laughs> Pause, work with your learning coach. We're making it into the spiral review. Never say spiral. How many keys does each have? Oh, goodness. You're going to have to figure this out. I'm unsure. Hmm. Pause. Work with your learning coach. Okay. Which equation shows how many spiders are left? Hmm. Which ones, which one of the equations below do not work at all? So go through the, the uh, word problem above and start eliminating problems that make no sense first. It'd be a really great strategy. Pause, work with your learning coach. Let's dig into the direct instruction. So you have your uh, fact families. So again, you have three different numbers that are going to kind of jump around and create new numbers together. But it's all gonna it's all gonna work out in the end. So you can write two addition and two subtraction facts that are use the number eight, nine, and seventeen. Hmm. Sounds like a challenge. Almost sounds like a puzzle. This sounds fun. Work with your learning coach. Here are some examples if you need to dig deeper. Here's some more examples if you need to dig a little deeper. Oh my goodness, there's more examples. Dig a little deeper. Next one. Let's try another one. How about this one? Last but not least, you have your flex your brain because we want to make sure that brain keeps on getting stronger and stronger. Pause and work with your learning coach. Last but not least, pause, work out this last page with your learning coach, and then I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.